Then they made it with Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura for the title in a last man standing match. And we have seen many WWE last man standing matches. And the issue that they always have is that it gets to the point where the ref's doing the standing 10 count. And they're Too taking often. 30 seconds for each standing 10 count because it's yeah, they, so they, slow. You, you, you they got to make it so m- dramatic. They but do, I will they, say. They too, too many. I will I say. Seth, Seth, I thought Seth was great. Well, what I will say about this match is that they they did not waste as much time with the standing 10 counts. They did a few at the end to try to get the drama in there. But like early on, it was like, you know, a guy would hit a big move and the ref would just kind of count in the background and he would get up. And then after a while, uh, they did a couple of spots where you got more of the dramatic count. But it wasn't like this was a 45-minute match. It wasn't like... It was a 28-minute match for WWE. I That's mean, it was 28, long. but I mean... I mean, know. WWE doesn't have that many matches over, you know, over 25 minutes. No. But I thought they did a better job with this one in terms of, of not having it being excruciatingly boring waiting for this referee to just count over I mean, I and suppo- over and over I suppose again. that happens, but most WWE last man standing matches are real good. I don't I mean, know. I, I mean, that's the one. One of their calling cards, really, with WWE is that the last man standing matches, you know, no matter who's in them, are usually pretty good because the deal is is that they kill each other. Um, I mean, to get people, because because it's a 10 count and not a 3 count, they freaking kill each other to get the 9 count knockout, you know, to where the guy rises up. So you're going to get you know, people. Plus, it's you know, you do the weapons and everything. It's it's the weapons match too. Which, well, by the is... by, by the way, one of the things on this is also is that um, you know I, you know the main the Cena match was the main event, but they were very smart because um, you had to put this match on last because it's this is not the kind of match that you can follow up very very well. So um, I mean, that's one thing I thought they were very smart because I actually thought that they might put the Cena match on last, in which case this match would probably have to go in the middle of the card because I don't think that you you don't really want to follow this one directly um, with another big match. Well, what they did was it started out as a weapons match. We had the tables, the chairs, nunchucks by Nakamura, and then crowd brawling, and then back to weapons, and then back to crowd brawling, and then then finally to the finish. They did a lot of, of smoke and mirrors here, but also... They killed themselves. So Seth has the uh, bad back, which is, you know, it's a storyline bad back and that it's been broken for years and he's done great matches. But now in storyline, he's hanging on by a thread. And so, I mean, if I had a broken back, I'm not taking a backdrop on the cement, but uh, I'm not Seth Rollins. He did. And uh, multiple hard chair shots to the bad back. And I mean, this guy's just doing stuff. Well, that's that, the, but the whole—that's the whole match story, though. I know, but the point is, he's actually got a broken back. So, what are you doing, taking backdrops on the cement for, dude? Like, that's not good. That's not good for you. Yeah. And then they had the uh, big bump through. They did have one. Uh, they had a like a crash pad out there, and yeah. they had a hard cam set up exactly so that you could see him fall, but not actually see what you landed on. So they they tried to sell it like he got thrown off this platform in the crowd and landed on the cement. But the problem was he bounced, like he (laughs) fell on a bouncy castle. So that was a little bit wacky. But the actual backdrop on the cement was not a worked bump. I mean, he fell in the cement. And then uh, later he got a a backbreaker on a chair and a Kinshasa through a table in the corner. And that one they teased big. As at nine, he wasn't up, but then he rolls out of the ring and he ends up standing on his feet, so they counted that as standing up. And then Seth gave him a falcon arrow off the platform through a table to the floor, and then both guys fought to their feet, but Nakamura collapsed at nine, and Seth ended up retaining the title. And uh, it was good for a WWE last man standing match. And uh, It was a good match. It was real good. Yeah, they had several minutes of TV time afterwards, so I was just waiting. Like, okay, what do we got now? What do we Nothing. got? They, they went right off the air. No, they had a video package. They well, had like a yeah, long okay, video, video package and some other yeah. stuff, but yeah. nothing. There was no big angle or who does Seth wrestle next or no. Anything. Jade Cargill was there too. You know, they she did showed, show up at the pre-show. Yeah, they showed her. You know, with with Paul Levesque, and um, yeah, that was the, that. That was about that. They did a post match, a post show press conference, which you know, they're not. You know. They're not. They don't say like the kind of stuff that's going to be in an AEW post match press conference where you might get like news and stuff. I mean, he did mention that they set the gate record for Indianapolis, which is, which means it was over one point two million, because uh, that that was the old record. Um, 
I think about 1.25 million actually was the old record. So they beat that, which of course it was a sell, sold out show with the current ticket prices. You're, you know, you're going to be a little bit above that. And, um, you know, nothing much else was, was, was said of any note. I mean, they asked Cody about, uh, you know, did you satisfy the dream? And of course he didn't, you know, I mean, I don't know, you know, he didn't come back to win the tag team title in his quest or whatever it is. Right. But, um, you know, he, you know, I mean, he said it was a hard question to answer. He didn't really want to, cause he didn't want to downplay winning the tag team titles. So, uh, but of course, you know, this is just a step, you know, the big thing is the title. And there was sort of a weird acknowledgement about how that's changed, which I guess has to do with Dwayne, you know, like we don't know, you know, before I think he had a clear path that he was probably wrestling. Well, he was wrestling Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and that was going to be it. And now it's back to, well, we got to wait and see. Well, we do have uh, two big shows coming up on Tuesday, a NXT show with a ton of WWE talent. We have got Carmelo Hayes with John Cena versus Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman. Roxanne Perez is facing Asuka. We do have the pub rules as uh, Brawling Brutes will face Tyler Bate and Gallus. Cody is no, going... No, 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 no. The Brawling Brutes and Tyler Bate are facing all three members of Gallus. Oh, yeah, Brawling Brutes and Tyler Bate, yes, yeah, versus yes. Gallus. And then Cody Rhodes has a big announcement, and they are teasing an appearance from The Undertaker. Well, he's going to be there. Undertaker because and, why not The Undertaker? Undertaker and Becky Lynch are both going to be there. Yes. They, they were, they were, they were, I mean... Neither they, side is messing around here. Well, no, this is like They are big, each determined to win. Well, I mean, you know, it's... I don't think it looks good for AEW, Um on this one, it does not um, look good at all. Unfamiliar no. night. Unfamiliar night. John gonna cost Cena, him, Undertaker, unfamil- Becky unfamiliar Lynch. night's going to cost him twenty percent. Undertaker and John Cena together. That's pretty. That's pretty. And Cody. And Cody. I can't. And, and look, Becky's been a big draw. Becky's been their weeks. biggest draw in ever. Ever. Yeah. Becky's been their biggest draw. But Cody and Cena and Undertaker are all bigger draws than Becky. So they got. They've got a loaded show. I mean, if if. Uh, you know, with Undertaker and everything, I mean, they, this show would, would, if there was no competition, would do the biggest number that NXT's ever done. And it may. It still may. I mean, I think the competition might keep it down from the record for NXT, but it, may, it still may. Um, and then AW will do... Undertaker you know, doesn't even appear on the A show. No. He's not even on Raw or SmackDown. No. He's he, like he, a guy they save for a big Raw. Yeah, yeah, Raw, and they're bringing he, him he, in for NXT. He, he's 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 only in the, those anniversary shows where they're where they're shooting for the like the, the biggest rating of the year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're shooting for their biggest rating of the year. I mean, that's the deal. So, I mean, it's yeah, it's, um, it's it's like uh, anyone who thinks. I mean, I, I think the thing that's is hilarious though is the people who are going like this has nothing to do with AEW. They're just trying to build up their rights fees, and it's like <laughs> this is that is the most. Re- I mean, you know, I mean, you can believe what you want to believe. Well, I mean, they are in the general sense of they're having some main roster guys. Okay, but okay, but here's the but thing. this show in particular is about defeating AW on Tuesday night. A hundred percent. But I mean, okay, here's here's the thing. It what they are, of course, you're always trying to get your ratings up. But if this was about getting your ratings up, you would have John Cena one week, you would have Undertaker one week, and you'd have Cody Rhodes one week because the the that. Will build up. That's what they have been doing. Yeah, that will build up. Three Becky's shows. on this show. Dom's on this show. Rhea's on this show. No, no. Well, I mean, they've been. But they've this been... is different. No, no, no. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. This is this is all about making sure that they don't lose. Because, but you know what? The funny thing about it is, is like, I mean, I was reading back, you know, on on when this happened a year ago. It was the exact same thing. There's a baseball playoff game. They had to move. Um, they had to move Dynamite to Tuesday, and they loaded that show up so big. Now, nothing like they didn't have a John Cena. He was doing stuff. They didn't think of Undertaker, but it was like all kinds of main roster talent was put on that show, and AEW won. But AEW was hotter then, a year ago, than it is now, and NXT was much colder than it is now, so it was a different dynamic. But you know what? AEW won, and a week later, it didn't matter. You know what I mean? It wasn't like it was the end of the world. It didn't. It didn't mean. No, this thing. Tuesday doesn't mean anything for either of them. 
It doesn't matter it's, who it's, wins it's, on it's Tuesday. A, it's a hundred percent ego, right? Yes. Now. But, yes. but, you know, I mean, it's WWE, you know. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with what WWE is doing. You you know, this is what promotional wars have been from day one. You load up. It's been going on since the beginning of wrestling. It's expected. I mean, it's it's like it's further than I would have expected. Like, I did expect that they would probably throw Cody Rhodes on that show. Didn't expect John Cena. Certainly didn't expect Undertaker. But I did figure you'd get, you know, a couple of, you know, you know, I mean, Butch, of course, Rich Holland. They're not going to be difference makers, but you'd have Becky Lynch and Dom and Rhea probably on the show. And probably this the big special thing would be Cody. That's what I that's what I had figured. But they went a lot further. I didn't think they would do Roman because that would take away from Roman's debut, you know, Roman's return on Friday. But, you know, they went further. They were they're bound and determined not to lose. And uh, that's the deal. AEW's got a good show, you know. I mean, they... Um, but they're cold, you know. I mean, boy, are they cold. And, uh, you know, how to change that, man, you know, that's a hard, it's it's hard to do when number one, I mean, I've said it a million times, when number one is, I, it's very difficult. You know, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. You know, they they still may get a great TV deal. They should get a good TV deal. Um, you know, I don't worry about their future and all that, but... Uh, to get it back to where it was a year ago is is going to be very very difficult, you know. And Edge is not, you know. I mean, we would have seen with Edge. I mean, we would have seen. Look, look. I mean, tonight's crowd in Salt Lake City. I mean, Grant, Salt Lake City is a bad city. Don't get me wrong for AEW. I mean, Salt Lake City was one of their worst pay per view markets that they have. Number one, um, the last I remember when they were doing like. Uh, Four, five, six thousand every week. When they this was before the pandemic, they went to Salt Lake City and they did twenty nine hundred people. And that I don't even think it was twenty nine hundred paid. I think it was twenty nine hundred total. But um, you know that, you know, that, I mean, so they probably did about twenty five hundred maybe tonight. So I mean, it's not even that far off. But Salt Lake City is just a bad city for them. But it's still, you know, like Edge there and everything like that. Didn't move a lot of tickets at the end. You know, Edge is Edge is a good performer. And he's a good talker and everything like that, but um, it's not punk, you know. I mean, as far as a, as far as a game changer, it's not it's not him. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do: Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.